Okay everyone, um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do a onion root tip chromosome preparation which is quite a simple technique, should take about two or three minutes. Um, please make sure you've had a look at the other video I'm taking you through the science relating to mitosis in addition to looking at this video here. So we have some onion root tips here which have been um, fixed in ethanol and we're going to take one out. Put it into the glass petri dish. We're then going to, with a scalpel, chop the apical end of that root tip. And that's where the cells are dividing at the greatest rate. So we're most likely to see all the various stages of mitosis. So we're now going to transfer that root tip onto the glass slide and we're going to rupture the cells within it using this brass rod. So we gently apply pressure to the apical end of the root tip, disrupting all the cells and hopefully what we're looking to create is a single cell layer where we can easily see all the stages of mitosis in the cells. We now need to stain that preparation, and we're going to use this particular stain, stain here, acetic orsine, and this is going to stain the chromosomes a dark orange to red colour. So a single drop, using the best of here, onto the preparation. We're then going to get a cover slip, and we're going to put that over the top of the preparation, and gently, with our thumb, we're going to apply pressure, rocking back and forth, and that's it. As I said, it's quite simple. That is an onion root tip chromosome preparation. Okay, we've stained our slides now, and we've got a light microscope, which can be found under the end of the benches. And we're now going to have a look at our um, chromosome preparation. First of all, however, what we need to do is make certain we've wiped down the microscope. So we'll be using 70% industrial methylated spirits. We're going to spray that onto some blue towel and we're simply going to wipe down the areas that someone else may have breathed on recently. So mostly around the eyepieces, around the XY focus and on the fine um, focus knob here. Okay, so the microscope is now set up for us to use. Um, please have a look at Paul's microscopy video from Induction Week on how to set up the interpupillary distance for yourself on the microscope. We have the preparation that we've just made. The thing we need to do, which has already been done for you for in the pre-prepared sessions in the actual practical itself, is to actually write what that preparation is. So when you come back, maybe in a few days' time or a few months' time, you know what's on that slide. So we're going to put onion root tip, orsine stain, and the date. We then need to put our slide onto the stage. Make certain it's right at the back. And we make certain that the stage is as close to the four times optic as possible. We're then going to focus that by moving the broad focus knob towards us until we can see the preparation in the cells. We've got them in focus. We're then going to move up to the times 10 objective, and again move the broad focusing knob until you can see the preparation. And then finally, we're going to go up to the times 40 objective and focus on the cells. You may, while you're doing that, have to increase the light intensity, and you can use that using the rear stat here on the right hand side. We can then move around the preparation using the X and Y knobs on the right hand side of the stage 
and we can look around the preparation to identify cells that are in the various stages of mitosis, which is obviously prophase. Metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. You should quite easily be able to notice those that are in anaphase and metaphase. The difficult ones to actually visualize are those that are in prophase, where the chromosomes have condensed but they haven't organized themselves in the center of the cell as yet and they basically look like little snakes sitting on top of each other and telophase especially the end of telophase where the two daughter cells are starting to bud off when cytokinesis is occurring so when you get your slide set it up as I've just done and have a look around in five fields and see how many cells that you can count in the various stages of mitosis and in interface. And from that, you should be able to calculate a mitotic index. Thank you.